Hey, people in Judea 53, events of Stronghold Blue Team. We've got some Imperial Guard. First up is Kea as a Lord Commissar. Strong offense and support fights in melee combat begins with a Refractor Shield. This is some um, Katachuns over here, Katachuns Elite Scheme. We also have Panzer Battalion as a Lord General. Fights range combat begins with a retinue of Stormtroopers to help him out. Really strong defense and support. Can also add to this retinue throughout the game, giving him more abilities and stuff. And alongside is Firax as a kind of bioluminescent plague champion. Looks pretty cool. Starts off range combat with a damage of a time bolter. Can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support. Can build turrets and repair, but is very slow. Red team, some more chaos. First up is Rostam as a chaos lord. Durable and destructive hero walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Powerful offense and disruption of fights mainly in melee combat. World Eaters Elite Scheme. We have Marky Mark as a Chaos Sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero, excels at battlefield manipulation. This is the Thousand Suns Elite Scheme. And rounding us off, P. Koji is a mech boy. Teleporting hero that fights range combat, puts out some good damage, can also support, disrupt, build structures and repair. Looks like both sides being 2v1 right now. Maybe Firax is coming across actually. Panzer Battalion doing the right thing, backing away. Might want to stand and shoot at those heretics though. They're getting very isolated over here. There we go. And they will drop very fast. Wow, they only lost one model. That is amazing. West side. Imperial Guard trying to push through with a Sentinel. Lord Commissar is chasing CSM or in turn chasing Guardsmen. The natural powers on this map can be very hard to defend. I think it's well worth it to keep that in mind when you're building up your roster. Try and be defensive with your build. Set up teams and generally tough units because if you push through on this side and mess up, you're going to get your power hit immediately and most likely completely. So try to sit back maybe. At least give yourself a solid base to pull back to. Shield is up. Very quickly goes down for those that don't know. The shields are powered by your energy so you lose energy instead of your health. CSM getting out of the garrison. Garrisons are often a death trap in this game. Uh oh, double shooters are going to finish off this sentinel, I think. Too much Daka. And down it goes. Those things are vehicles, but they only have heavy infantry armor on them, which is why those shooter boys were able to dack it down. Meanwhile, mid, turning blue thanks to double CSM of Firax. And some Havocs are up. Have a heavy bolter by default. Rostam also getting Havocs. And Marky Mark with Havocs all round. Those hooded heretics look pretty cool. No aspiring champions, but we do have grenade launchers on the way I guess that power's bashed needs to be careful with that heavy bolter though backing away here he can deal with setup teams decently well the Lord General with his armor that gives suppression immunity I think it's the flat jacket or something names escape me Kaya getting some Katachan devils on the field Panzer Battalion already has some here they are Will help him deal with the setup team with their range disruption. Sorcerer. Happy to take some hits to get in. Tie things up. I don't think he wants to fight Catachins in melee though. Those guys have power melee weapons and they will chop down a low level hero quite easily. 425 to 499 very early on with a 1 to 1 cap. We have grenade launchers on the Lord General. Gives him the move 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 ability because of course grenade launchers would give you a speed buff pathogens do tend to bunch up and aoe abilities can wreck them pretty hard even grenade launchers grenade launchers from heretics can wreck everything pretty hard in tier one to be honest can really pack a punch and catch you by surprise especially if you have double grenade launchers doing some work there work great of course in conjunction with some suppression since it slows the target down they can't dodge those grenades some Nurgle worship here the plague champion behind some light cover uses his breath of Nurgle heal on himself looks like the action is focused on the flanks with both teams trying to push on the power rather than sit mid and try to stabilize there there is power in the mid 
Oh no, there isn't. That was an earlier version of the map. You should know these things, Indrid. You made the map. 425 to 468. Sluggers running away with somehow only dropping one model and getting out of it. Power bashing from Noise Marines with their Sonic Blaster and CSM. What are they up to? Are they going to melee this generator down? Nope. Just being weird. Being weird and chaosy. Heretics here with Aspiring Champion and Grenade Launchers. I'm not sure how much damage the Aspiring Champion's Bolt Pistol does, but I guess he's pitching in. Also makes them far less likely to die immediately to everything. Some Zinchian worship. Infiltrating stuff, waiting for his Marines and Havocs to hit the field before pushing up. Or maybe dipping mid. It is blue. Tier 2 for Marky Mark. Feels like a pretty quick tier 2. Didn't bleed much at all, I suppose. Plague Champion here leading the charge against the power. Well, I guess the Plague Champion doesn't charge around very much, does he? Suppression helping to defend. Here's a Pain Boy. Support Subcommander for Orcs in tier 1. Has a heal over time ability that can only target Orc units. Mech Boy with his electric armor getting involved. Using his electric shock. And Garzman didn't want any part of that. He's also got his big shooter. Looks like the action has moved away from the generators. I think the Imperial God player was trying to make his way up this road here. Being blocked by the Chaos Army, of course. Heretics moving in. There is a Sentinel. Could get a very nasty stump, I guess. Maybe he's used it. There we go. Knock back a little bit of damage and a stun. And he kind of ran right into it there, Marky Mark. More electric shocks. We see Carapace Armour with Stand Firm. So it's not the Flat Jacket, it's Carapace. Tier 2 now for Kea and Firax. Those CSM barely getting out of there. Sorcerer tried to Doom Bolt those Catachins at point blank range, I think. He's going to go for a decap. Grenade launcher is not the best thing in the world for damaging a single entity, but they're, they're doing some work, I suppose. There's that medical sergeant fellow over there, too. And bashing power with a heavy bolter. Big champion levels to two. I think he just got revive. Here comes that pain boy. Eats a shotgun blast to the face from the catechins of Kea and backs away. Not sure what kind of cooldown there is on his git source. Nice heal from a Plague Champion. This could be nasty though with that Sonic Blaster. Not sure why those Noise Marines are backing off. Had a good shot and a big chunk of stuff there. They were getting kind of low I suppose. And now this power's going to get bashed again. Maybe completely if the Noise Marines come up. 369, 407. East side seems pretty even. Two generators up. There's an improvised explosive over here to cover this approach. And uh, does a Marky Mark have an Aspiring Champion? No, nope, she's not going to be able to spot that improvised explosive. That could be really bad. Especially if heretics stumble across it. Havoc's taken a hell of a lot of damage. These guys easily shooting through the suppression with Stand Firm. Maybe you should have gone inside the, uh, the little tower here, Havoc's. They do get away. Here comes a Chaos Dreadnought. For Marky Mark. Targeting the Sentinel immediately. I'll be able to get it down. That auto cannon, yep, does some decent damage and takes it down. We do have good, some grenade launcher heretics now. And maybe a power bash. Are we going to see this improvised explosive come into play here? But as I don't know, it is hidden to Marky Mark. He needs a detect unit to be able to see it. And doesn't have one, but looks like nothing's going to get close enough to be exploded. Maybe. 324, 407. Bloodlet is on the field for Firax. Panzer Battalion looking kind of depleted now. Chimera up for Kea, as you can see. Support the vehicle from Imperial Guard allows them to reinforce and transport Allied infantry. And they're going to power bash. Combi Flamer is up for the Chaos Lord. As is Armour of the Inferno, as it expects. 
I suppose, against Imperial Guard over on the side. Meanwhile, Improvised Explosive is still there. Got a full power bash and a decap on the VP. Did Mark and Mark. Might want to close for melee over here, Catachins. Maybe not. Last cannon on the field to counter the Dreadnought. Looks like it got away okay. Lost half of his hit points. Sluggers capping mid. They do have their knob leader now. Wire banner over there. Blue team actually straight up capping the VP. Well done. And a full power bash and a decap on the power. Red team off the field just a little bit too long there. And pretty much lost everything. Which was the idea with this map. I wanted the power to be bashed a lot. Mech boy way out in the open there. Almost goes down. In fact, might still go down. Three hit points, zero hit points does go down. Here is the Basilisk Flare from the Lord Commissar. Reducing the sight and weapon range of all these units by half. It's a massive pain in the ass to try and fight through. Often you'll want to just back away from it. Let the duration wear out. Blastmaster Noise Marines getting caught. Ross Dam losing some sight of some stuff, but looks like everything's going to get away okay-ish. VP's been decapped now. They're making their way back out. Slugger's chasing the Chimera. The Nob Leader does have power melee, but um, not the most effective way to fight a vehicle. They they just get it off, that's for sure. Tank Buster Barrage obviously trying to get that Chimera does miss. Lord General losing all of his retinue members. He's going to have to send letters home now. We just need to find an edge. How are you going to explain that? Where's the dread? Oh, the dreadnought's down. I guess the last cannon did its job. There's the remains of it. We have a death dread with burners and bits. Not sure what kind of bits, but they must be pretty tough bits. Give it 300 more hit points. Yeah, power is just dropping all over the place. And mid is turning blue. Death Dread is going to smash through this wall. Keep those CSM moving along. They did not cap. 290379. More Plague Marines on the way this time from Firax. Marky Mark getting some late CSM up. Some tier 3 CSM up. Ogrins on the field for Panzer Battalion, able to pretty much deal with everything Marky Mark's got if they can get through the Havocs, which of course they can once Stand Firm is up. And now maybe Power Bash. They do have the Boned Leader, gives them the Use Your Red ability, which makes them go faster and knock stuff over. Not sure if he has like more damage or something, the Leader. Last Cannon used the Bash, why not? So they might get some stuff done over here. Ogren's barely taking any damage from the CSM. They are super heavy infantry, so have natural resistance to piercing damage of bolt guns. 271, 379. And now they're in the mood for a fight again. Getting caught in the suppression. Lord General, I think. Where is he? Yeah, I was going to say he's too far away. He's way too far away to give them the stand firm buff. But using the creeping barrage to knock those guys over. Ogrins, wow. Tearing apart the CSM. Unlucky not to get two of those models. Now going after heretics, are they? Struggling to path around these around this gate over here. Or fence, whatever it is. Full power bash though. Ogrins did their job of drawing fire very well and did not drop a model. Meanwhile, towards the center, all sorts of stuff going on, including more Ogrins, this time from Kaya. Here comes that bonehead leader, Sluggers, happy to get in and fight him. Super Heavy Infantry does have some natural resistance also to regular melee damage. Look at that, down they go. But they will take extra from the power melee of the Slugger, Knob. And those Ogrins went down really fast. 2-1 to one cap now. Mid has been mostly quiet. Havocs with their auto cannon. Death Dread still stumping around. Have you leveled up yet, buddy? Yes, you are. Level 2. 
Tier 3 now for Rostam. Marky Mark is there with some amount of resources too. Could get a tank up pretty soon. Not sure if this is the best ever map for a tank. I guess it's relatively open. But um, not a lot of room to manoeuvre. Plague Marines getting shots now. Their missile launcher, of course, snaring targets. Well, snaring large targets. It won't snare infantry if it's some... That doesn't happen very often, though. Can I even catch it? They are going to get at least one more shot. Here we go. Did that hit? It hit the floor, but we do see the snare. I think it kind of maybe hit... Chaos Trickery. Can they finish it off? Very close. Tank busters disrupting them. And now lots and lots of dak off from the Shooter Boys. 271302. Nice Marines are level 2 with their Blast Master. They have a pretty good arc here. Look at this. Covering both approaches pretty much. Red team going mid now. Mink boy trying to get a cap. We've lost the indicator for him. Which suggests he went down at some point. Egg champion with his Bile of Spewer. Might see him transition to his fist later on to help with late game caps. Armor of Pestilence is also up. And Electric Armor continues to do some work. Mech boy is persuaded to leave though. Nurgly Worship and Blue Team retain the mid. Chaos Lord trying to flank now from Rostam. But is there enough stuff here to flank with? Just a Chaos Lord and some Plague Marines. Got the Icon of Corn. Often used in conjunction with his Lightning Claws since they attack pretty quickly. Pain Boy might go down. Looks like he's going to be okay. Just trying to finish off the Plague Champion, but Orcs not known for their sidearms, let's say. Could see a Nurgle Shrine behind this shot blocker. But no sign of it yet. East side is turning blue. We do have a tank from Marky Mark being chased down by Ogrins. They smack you with their guns so hard that it's heavy melee. Heavy melee gun smacking. Look at this from Kea. Loads of assault kit stormtroopers for some burst damage. Bad news for Orcs. It's going to be bad news for the Plague Marines too. These guys are actually regular infantry. So they'll be taking full damage from those piercing attacks. Although, of course, they do have massive amounts of hit points and some good health regeneration too. Lord General's gone for the sniper rifle now. Fight on my target. 30% weapon range is pretty damn good. You do, of course, need vision still. It doesn't increase your vision range by 30%, I don't think. Can they get this tank down? They can. That's kind of getting a last hit for the source before the sorcerer can get in there. He's also going to go down. Bad engagement for Marky Mark. Panzer Battalion really, really putting it back around here. Get this Havoc off the field and can get a full power bash maybe. And actually kills them. Oh, maybe not. There was still one model kind of split up weirdly. Assist now from Pikoji. Got some Marco Zinc CSM. They are in response to the Ogrins that do very good damage to Ogrins. Level 2. We've got some heretics on the way for Marky Mark now. Always keep some heretics around if you can. Double Plague Marines for Firax. That's a pretty good Let the Galaxy Burn from the Chaos Lord. He's getting slowed down though by the Plague Champion. 271. 217. 2 to 1 cap. For the blue team VP is pretty damn close. He was trying to get close enough to um, immolate those CSM, but I guess it didn't work out. These guys all popping their slaughter and ability given to them by their aspiring champion. There were two Death Dread. Rostam going for Land Raider Phobos. There is double Plague Marines, also the Ogrins to get their hands on it. Flash gets in play with Blasters. Koji has a pretty big roster to try and manage here. All kicking off in the mid. There's that electric armor blasters going in too. Not sure if the Death Dread's going to get out of here. No, it doesn't. Red team, though, are going to hold mid. 
I don't think the blue team is going to be able to hang out in mid right now. Havocs need to be setting up. There we go. Lord Commissar chasing some Plague Marines. 262 to 200. 2 to 1 cap now for red. It's a lot of hot shot lads guns. Doesn't tell me their DPS unfortunately. But look at that. Weapon cooldown to zero. Which should mean that they are not affected by suppression because I believe suppression increases the cooldown of a weapon. So a pretty good trait to have. Zero weapon cooldown. I think auto cannons are the same way. Imperial Guard trying to bring some Daka now. Wonder if the Orcs are impressed. Curse Lord hits level 5. Lost it indicator for him too. Which is fun. Here's the Landrider Phobos. Don't worry, he doesn't have two. It's just a visual bug. This thing has Laz Cannons on the side sponsors and a Twin Linked Heavy Bolter on top. Great for taking down large targets. Not the quickest thing though. Mark him up with another Chaos Predator. What is this? Shrine. It's a Shrine of Zinch. That is a rocky run. Ouch. Wow, lots of dead orcs. Pikoji losing some stuff there. Does have a looted tank though. So that blue team are going to get back on this VP. And we have the Fist of Brockus for the Lord Commissar. The Emperor's Wrath as well. That could really help take down the Land Raider actually. The Emperor's Wrath. Chaos Terminator is in the field now for Rostam. With their combi bolters and power fists, they are heading into melee. Are they? No, they're not. Blue team do cap the mid for a two to one cap and are bashing power on this side. Marky Mark has struggled to keep a hold to preserve units since that dreadnought went down. I feel like Panzer Battalion, Panzer Battalion has played it well. Good war gear choices. Ogrins have done fantastically well. Almost level 3 these guys. There's that Commissar retinue member giving him that shield. He's being very aggressive here. Last kind of takes down the tank being buffed of course by fire on my target. Having massive range there. Tank number 2 didn't last very long. Kasrakin on the way for Panzer Battalion. We've got a heavy weapon squad for Kaya. Maybe a last cannon to help deal with this Phobos. Red team edging forward here. Plague Marines can turn and get a rear armor hit on the tank. Nope. They are kept moving by some blood letters spawned out of the circle of summoning from the sorcerer. Red team retaking mid with some Plague Marines. These heretics need to be very careful. What are they up to? Are they trying to repair? I'm not sure. Chaos Terminators do have their auto cannon. Uh oh. That was the Emperor's Wrath, I think. Was it? Did he use it just before he went down? I suppose so. Here comes a Manticore from Panzer Battalion. What did the Castrican have? Nothing yet. And get some very nice grenade launchers that disrupt with every shot, which is pretty useful. Chains of Torment from the Sorcerer there. Annoying these fellows. You need to shoot this thing, guys. Or just wait. Just wait. There we go. 198 to 157. Knob Squad on the field for Pikochi. Good way to recover losses from a nuke. Get a Knob Squad on the field. Get in there, Mina and Greener. Gives them the pretty awesome Frenzy ability. Lots of Marco Zinc CSM to shoot with them though. With their Spiring Champions and all that good stuff. Level 3 too. Both level 3. Plague Champion with the Plague Fist. Using it to cap with Pestilence Drake. Well here comes the Nob Squad. This could be a massive engagement here. Nob Squad backing away. Plague Champion, I don't think he's going to finish that cap. Nope, goes down. 
And it comes from Chaos Terminator to reset it. Now the Phobos is teetering on the edge of death. Manticore Strike goes in. And down it goes. Last kind of getting shots from way back. Marco Zinc CSM shooting up some enemy Chaos Terminators too. They'll take a lot of damage from the Inferno damage of those bolters. Center is uncapped. Is there anything going on the flanks? Yes, there is. I was going to say, might be a good time to try and push against a natural VP. Seems like Kaya has the right idea. Or at least the same idea. And it's going to smack up some Havocs. Rostam does notice in time. Gets two of those models away. But it's going to lose the power, I think, unless he can get over here pretty quick. Still has Heretics, although they are in retreat. Getting a decap is the Commissar, maybe. Does get the decap, but does not get away. Look at this. Massive amounts of firepower on those Curse Terminators. They do get away with two models, though. Can't do much against the tank. Plasma guns for the Guardsmen. We're doing decently well against those Terminators. By power, says Rostam. So also trying to get a decap. Does he have his... No, no vestments. May help him get on those VPs a little bit quicker. 181, 157, 1 to 1 cap. We have a Chaos Predator number 3, I think, from Marky Mark. Knob Squad are most likely fully upgraded. Nope, they don't have their hammers yet. There's that Knob Leader, though. Over a thousand hit points just on that fella. And a pretty damn cool helmet. Mid is red. Up to the blue team to push. They did deal with the Phobos. Phobos. However you say it. Now a Chaos Predator from Firax. Might be worth getting a turret or two up over here. That last cannon turret is pretty damn good. Commerce are still down. Going to be tricky to revive him over here. Might need to pay. Where's the Manticore? It's actually pushed up quite far. Are you all leveled up, Stormtroopers? You should be. Yep, they're all level two. Not sure what these Plague Marines are trying to do here. Just annoy stuff and shoot, I guess. Here comes the Chaos Lord. Level six. Could get a nasty Let the Galaxy Burn. There we go. At least two of those fireballs hit really well. And there is an Imperial Abyss. And that did some work. Killed one of the stormtroopers at least. Mid is uncapped. Knob squad on the prowl. These guys will gladly fight anything in the game and usually win. Only a few things can beat them in melee combat. 131, 157. And once they level up and get buffs from their hero and stuff, nothing can beat them. Chaos Predator doing a good job. Great at hunting single entities down. Level 7, Mac, what you got? You got your super tough beam for those knobs, I guess, and electric armor. And still the Daka Daka Daka. You might see him transition to his beamy death gun to teleport around and take down vehicles, which is pretty useful. Blue team got their natural decapped, but um, Panzer Battalion's on it. Still has that manticore too. Does have its Storm Eagle upgrade too. One to one cap. Can anyone get the mid? This guy's going for a revive, not for a cap. Loses the shield very quickly. And that's not worth it. Yep, run away. Almost went down still. Very nearly went down. This tank is way too far forward. Almost lost it. There is some Nurgle worship there to heal it up. Pretty slow though. Some repairs for the looted tank. What level are you? You seem to have been around for a while. Almost level 3. Lots of red for Firax and Kea and Pikoji. So maybe some more nukes on the way. We've seen at least two of them. 
Looks like the flanks are relatively quiet and it's all kicking off mid. Nope, scored a found of poor Lord General who just got some vision for his Manticore. And very nearly so, so close to taking out that tank. Very nice idea. 120, 147. Need some repairs very, very quickly now. Plague Marines being targeted. They do explode on death. Healing nearby allies and knocking down and damaging enemies. They don't heal themselves though with their death, death explosion these days. Only chosen Plague Marines do. Look at this. Hotshot las guns and plasma guns. Enough for that knob squad, I suppose. Not sure what knocked them over. Maybe a grenade from one of these guys. Kasukin also have plasma guns, so he's packing a hell of a lot of anti-infantry firepower here, Kaya. Fist of Rockers, of course, helps keep him alive. Kaya's spread out with no mark. Two to one cap for the red team, but can they hold mid? There's a rocks and a rocket run and a Nurgle nuke. Ouch. Looks like the Orcs got hit pretty badly. Terminate is dropping. Looks like they survived. Three nukes in about two seconds there. Commandos on the field for Pikoji. Could try and sneak down the flanks and get those natural victory points. Is that where they're heading? Then Nobleed has a very handy rocket launcher too. Big champion goes for the cap. Tries to heal himself. Looks like he's already used. No, there's the best track. Should have used it earlier. Still going to go down yet. Yeah. 88 to 138. Absolute mayhem in the mid. Chaos Predators all over the place. Down goes the looted tank. Manticore Strike was targeting it, but it was already down. And he actually crashed into the other tank. Awesome. Uh oh, Manticore is in trouble now. Down it goes. The commandos went after it. Might have seen them in the background there. Just two shots from that knob leader's rocket launcher on rear armor took it down. 88 138 still with the 1 to 1 cap. Are these guys now capping? No, he's misclicked over there. Might be a costly mistake from P. Koji. Baneblade on the field, in case he didn't notice, from Panzer Battalion. Kaya getting some late game Ogrins up. Might be able to get some nasty melee flanks going. And here's a Chaos Dreadnought from Rustam, also pretty late to see a Dreadnought out. Here come the Ogrins. Pushing this side, nothing really with them, but they are opening up the opportunity to uh, get on the VP mid. Nice job by this Predator tank, hunted down another one. This thing has Mark of Nurgle and Marky Mark is down to a single unit. Just a Chaos Predator left. More knobs on the way for Pikoji. Did, I guess they never actually capped over there, the commandos. Ogrins came and came and saw them off. Late game power bashing. Blue team setting up mid to stabilize. Look at this, they have a bunker which could be converted into repairing stuff. Which is very useful. What is this? Sorcerer being bullied by some ogrins. There is a mech boy as well though. There he goes. Super tough beam is up. He's going to get a decap at least. Chains of Torment. Very frustrating for those Ogrins. And he got the decap. Don't think he can teleport away though. He's run out of energy. Going to go down if he's not careful. And does go down. Should have retreated. Okay, so the bunker has been upgraded to be a medical bunker. In fact, it can now reinforce all this infantry. Still very, very useful. That's, a, that's two knob squads though running at you. Now you have a lot of anti-infantry damage though. Lots of plasma guns, double mark of Zinc CSM. 
Another rocket run coming in here. Pete Koji has been hit like three times by nukes. Blue team with the two to one. It's getting so close now. Every cap is vital. And those Plague Marines are unable to get that one. Looks like blue team are going to get this now. This cap, I mean. I have no idea who's going to win the game. Curse Dreadnought with Markov Zinch for Rustam. Here comes that Plague Champion. What level are you? Level 4. Bane Blade hasn't really been threatened yet. These are some new Chaos Terminators for Rustam. No upgrade yet to the weaponry. Looks like he's being quite diligent defending the VP as Rustam. Which could win them the game here eventually. Blue team also have some stuff over here now. Ogrins and some Cadian Castlekin. Terminators teleporting back. Frenzy Barrage does hit the Ogrins. The Terminators need to be careful. Is there only level 1 Ogrins? Down goes the Dreadnought. What got the hit there? Oh, probably these fellas. These double Plague Marines. Chaos Terminator is now getting chased. Good Blastmaster shot though. And that is a auto cannon. You don't want to run headfirst into that thing if you can help it. Level 9 Chaos Lord. Just, just done some serious work with the Combi Flamer and Armor of the Inferno. Mark here trying to recover with CSM and a great unclean one. There are those knobs. Here they are. Level 2 and level 1 don't seem to have done a huge amount of work. They've, as I said before, there's a hell of a lot of firepower arrayed against them in a relatively small area. But they get the VP over here for a 2-1 to -one cap. But look at this. The Plague Champion is now on this one. Last Master will knock him over. Oh, maybe not. Armor of Pestilence shrugs off a Blast Master shot. There you go. Now doing friendly fire to the Terminators with the Blast Master. Can you get this cat, Plague Champion? Don't think you are, buddy. Just lost your Pestilence Strike buff and a Power Fist to the neck. It's pretty painful. Wow, talk about pain. Emperor's Wrath almost whacked out those Chaos Terminators. It's like 450 damage if all of those missiles hit if you're close enough to get up. Knob Squad in the back lines. Two of them, in fact. Are they going to go after the Bane Blade? They are. Or are they? They're going after the bunker. Okay. Yeah, go after the Bane Blade, fellas. What are you doing? Great unclean one waddling forward. Knob squads. So, so painful for a Bane Blade. That was a big shot. But they're going to use friends and they're going to chase this thing down, I think. They are dropping models. But these guys now have full momentum from their hammers. Almost full momentum. I think four rings is the maximum. Down goes the Bane Blade. Needed to get moving way, way, way earlier. No way easy to spot that stuff. Uh oh, Rocket Run on retreating knobs. Poor Pikoji again getting hit by Rocket Run. But those guys live. 57 to 55, 1 to 1 cap. Great and clean one has lost a lot of health already. It's a bit too a bit too deep in enemy territory with no support really. A single Marquezine CSM getting shots. Okay, he knew he had his warp available. Gets the Grand Clean one out of there. So where exactly? Where was he? All the way back at base. Got some noise marines going straight for Blastmaster, of course. Ogren's getting caught. Red Team will have to recap. 48 to 55. Rocks on the mid. It's like the seventh nuke or something. Oh, got the tank. Tank kind of drove right into it there. Level 6 Commissar. Some Plague Marines now for Marky Mark. He's doing a decent job recovering, but Blue Team have big, big rosters here. I think Kaya. I don't think Kaya's got a single tier 3 unit on the field in the whole game. Doing pretty well though. Who needs tier 3? We have tons of guns and Ogrins. 
Two to one for blue team. What is that trying to decap? It's a pain boy still alive somehow. Absolute madness. Another nuke this time for the plague champion again. Imperial Abyss pulling things in via the chain. That central circle does like 200 DPS heavy melee, I think. Yeah, it's tearing apart the Nobsworth again. P. Koji getting hit by a nuke. Sometimes the gods just, just go against you. Great and clean one soaking up some damage might allow a cap for a team. But I don't think he's going to get away. Marky Mark does not have the red to teleport it out of trouble this time. And down it goes. Red team are going to get mid, I think, 48 to 26. What is this? We've got some sneaky stormtroopers. Might be able to get a decap. Dark flames. Last cannons. Repairing tanks. Another main blade. Again from Panzer Battalion. Absolutely constant fighting. 39 22 single cap for blue. Great work on that west side by Kea. Thirty-nine to thirteen. Yep, got a decap. Ogrins still harassing over here too. Double Ogrins. Great work by Kea. Bane Bay taking some shots. Needs to get the hell away from those knobs. Looks like they were knocked over by a creeping barrage. Ten VPs remaining for Red Team. It's now Chaos Terminator is chasing down this tank. Can they teleport behind it? Do they dare? That means they can't use the teleport to escape. KS says GG. Can Red Team see this out? Bane Bay is going to go down. Down it goes. Blue team now flooding the mid. But that's a malignant blindness global ability of the Chaos Lord. Using it to try and save those Terminators, I think. And also make it harder to see the cap and stuff. And there's the game. Double cap at the end. I wasn't even paying attention. They got a decap over here. I guess it was a sorcerer. Well done, Marky Mark. Recovered well. Crazy, crazy game. So many nukes. So many deaths. So many things I'm sure I missed. Plague Champion was level 5 and down, level 6. Come on, so we had a level 10 Lord General caught in midair at the end there. Level 10 Chaos Lord. Still with that combi flamer. How many guardsmen did this guy kill? Level 10 mech too. And a level 7 sorcerer. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.